In this video, I'll show you how to identify works in the public domain. Understanding the Nigerian Copyright Law of 1970 enables you to identify works in the public domain. Copyright law varies from country to country and creative works can be in the public domain in one country but not necessarily be in the public domain in another. This is because of the peculiarities attached to copyright protection. In Nigeria, works generally enter the public domain 70 years after the death of the author for most works and 50 years after the publishing date for photographs and audiovisuals. But in a scenario where the work is autonomous or pseudonymous, the work expires 70 years unless the identity of the author is revealed. In that case, the expiration takes place after the death of the anonymous author. There are some ways to identify works in the public domain. A scenario where the copyright of a creative work has expired it releases the work into the public domain. An author of a creative item can choose to donate the work into the public domain as we've done for this video. Also, words, facts, phrases and theories are generally in the public domain. Generally, the mass of knowledge recorded over time is in the public domain. Copyright offers a necessary or justifiable and time-related exemption to this status. What I'm trying to inform you is that copyright gives creators a time-related monopoly over the control of their works. In the sense that once this time expires, the works automatically falls into the public domain. Here are some examples of works in the public domain and how to identify them. For cinematographic films and photographs, they expire 50 years after their first publication. And examples are images and video recordings taken at Nigeria's independence. They are in the public domain and they've existed for over 50 years. Another means of identifying works in the public domain is through sound recordings. Sound recordings expire 50 years after their publication or after the date they were created. An example is King Sonia Ade's Ewe Jabamoto, which was released in 1967. Also, broadcasts can be in the public domain after 50 years when they took place. An example is Sir Emmanuel Omar Shola's announcement of Nigeria's independence on October 1, 1960. That broadcast has existed for over 50 years, thereby making it in the public domain. Other creative works such as books and artistic work or poems can be in the public domain 70 years after the death of the author. Bishop Samuel Ajayi's Crowder's The Grammar of Yoruba Language is in the public domain as Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder died in 1891. This means that copyright expiration started counting 70 years after his death. Christopher Zokibo's book The Limit would be in the public domain in 2037. Indeed, all of Christopher Okigbo's book will be in the public domain in 2037, as he died in 1967. Likewise, Chino Achebe's book Things Fall Apart will be in the public domain in 2083, as Chino Achebe died in 2013. It is important to know that governmental and corporational publication expire 70 years after they were released. What I'm saying is that there are no exemptions to governmental copyrighted works in Nigeria. However, public documents are exempted from this copyright law and so they are in the public domain. The Nigerian banknotes are in the public domain, but they cannot be digitized. Court judgments, tribunals, rulings are in the public domain, but compilation and publication from those courts are not in the public domain. The Nigerian statute and legal instruments are in the public domain. An example is the Copyright Act and the Nigerian Constitution. Let's hear from Isaac as he explains to us the freedom of panorama. Hello, my name is Isaac and I'll be speaking on the freedom of panorama. One of the ways in which works can enter into the public domain is through the freedom of panorama. The freedom of panorama is a provision of the copyright laws of various countries in which taking of pictures, shooting of videos, creation of images such as the paintings of buildings or artworks or sculptures in the public 
are permitted and do not infringe on the copyrights that are existing in these works that are in the public. In Nigeria, the freedom of panorama is covered under item D of the second schedule of the Nigerian copyright law. It states that artistic works the public can be reproduced and the resulting copies of this work can be distributed. This therefore passes the notion that monuments, sculptures, artworks, public buildings belong to the general public and are in the public domain. Thank you.